Do I press the attack? To chat, I have a delay on. Telling me repeatedly to take Conqueror after I've already gotten in the game doesn't really do me a whole lot of good. Okay, so with press the attack, I'm not sure I beat Atria. Or, I'm not sure I beat Darius now. I'm 29, Twitch chat. I'm 29. I'm gonna look mid-20s until my probably 40s. At which point, I'll probably look like early 30s until 60. At which point, I'll probably look 50. If there's anything like my dad to go by. My dad's like 70. He honestly still looks late 40s. Until, in fact, until 70, my dad in his 60s still would be like, oh yeah, you're like, mm, probably like late 30s, right? Please don't be in pull range randomly. Press the attack actually didn't do bad there. It actually out damaged what Conqueror would have done. That's what I find so amusing about the people who are like, no, Conqueror is really good in the laning phase, trust me. It's just like, dude, no. There is no world where Conqueror beats Press the attack in the laning phase. It can not happen. It is literally math fucking matically impossible to be better than Press the attack in the laning phase. against a tank and i'm talking a full tank a dude who comes to lane with a cloth armor using double armor runes press the attack will do more than conquer early game that's why a lot of people will actually go press the attack on kled even against something like cho'gath just because it allows him to bully them early game and he can't kill them late game anyway hx cooldown on q should be way higher early imo this is insane you guys it's 14 seconds at level one right did you just want it to be unusable like you get to use it once per laning phase or something yeah Kled just using ian to me with a sejuani next is kind of yeah it's Kled's q cooldown on cast or yank on cat remember twitch chat Remember, Cold Joe Chat, there is no such thing as lag compensation. I've been told that repeatedly. Lag compensation doesn't exist, Twitch Chat. It's not a thing. Dude, even on Aatrox, Pressy Attack outscales Conquer. Or I shouldn't say outscales beats it in the laning phase outscales like the complete opposite of what i meant so he's gotten a total of about let's say 200 effect out of conqueror i've gotten 329 out of press the attack dude it's not new meta it's it's clearly not a good idea because it'll fall off so hard i'm just saying that it's kind of funny how many people like to this day It's funny how many people to this day refuse to believe or acknowledge that Conqueror is maybe not the best laning phase rune when it's it's just simple. It, it really is just simple. What the? Why didn't that pull hit me, Twitch chat? I'll be honest, Twitch chat, I'm kind of remembering how good Pressy Attack is early game. I'm glad to see people literally went back to base when I'm getting five men. That wasn't too bad. I mean, obviously, Pressy Attack falls off a fucking cliff because eventually I stop auto attacking. That wasn't too bad early game. I mean, how much damage did I get? Not even too much damage. 
No. Okay. I mean, obviously, it did really good in the early game, and then it fell off a cliff. But that's press the attack in a nutshell. Conqueror builds up to 6 to... So 6 times 5 is 30.8. That's 18. 18? Conqueror eventually builds up to 18 damage at level 16. Press the attack builds up to 12% more damage. Conqueror also builds up to the first three attacks to 60, 60, 60 damage. Because once you proc it, you get 120. For the first three attacks, press the attack is blatantly the fuck better. No argument. If we're in the late game, let's say I'm doing... I'll be, I'll be lenient and say I'm only doing 200 damage per hit. That means con or press the attack has added 60, 60, 60 damage. And then it's adding 12% of 200 damage per hit, which would be very fucking low. 24 damage per attack. That's... Pretty high, actually. That, that's pretty good for a keystone. Consider that late game keystones like electrocute, 0.4 bonus AD. How much bonus AD are you really going to have? Let's say 300. So electrocute does 300 damage, press the attack does 180, but then press the attack magnifies damage. And importantly, press the attack is way the fuck better early game. I actually think, in all honesty, press the attack should probably get nerfed early game for late game power. I think the cooldown should maybe go up early game by like a lot actually. Press the attack early game is an electrocute that adds bonus damage but also does more damage on a six second cooldown. Electrocute's a 25 second cooldown. This is what I've said actually. Press the attack should have a melee modifier. When's Aatrox getting balanced? When's Kai'Sa getting balanced? Kai'Sa is played at Masters Plus. Literally one out of three games involve Kai'Sa at this point. And when you combine that with her ban rate, I think we're up to one half of games involve Kai'Sa in some way or another. And yet, what do I get Twitch chat? When's Aatrox being nerfed? Just for once, can we like actually focus on not top lane? Reasonably, other than two champions, reasonably top lane is in a decent balance. It's just Kennen and Riven who are over the top. Other than like the god tier picks who are perma banned like Kuyana. What about tanks? Can you play them with a reasonable win rate? No, I don't think anyone can right now. Dude, I, I tried to play Scion the other day and I ended up laning against a uh, Mord and it was fucking awful. There was no good item I could build to stop him. He just kind of walked up and, and killed me repeatedly. It was it was really bad. It was not fun. Like, I think I could still reasonably take out Scion against a bruiser, but I just don't see any way how you can play a tank against mages in the current environment. I just don't see any way you can make it happen. Every good item for tanks is armor. Spectre's Cowl is absolute garbage. If they put as much attention into MR itemization as they did armor itemization, every single buff, every single buff this season to try to get tanks to be viable has involved buffing armor items. Oh, this is not going to go well. Eh, that didn't go too poorly, actually. They haven't even a single time tried to address the horrible MR itemization that tanks have. Not a single time. They haven't buffed Spectre's Cowl, Adaptive, Spirit Visage, nothing. The only current good MR item is Spirit Visage. And it's not a good rush item. Honestly, it's only good on bruisers and mages. Because the biggest aspect of the item is a 30% healing. It's good on bruisers and mages in the mid game. And that's about it. Adaptive Helm gives you no wave clear. It actually doesn't give you that much mitigation in the early game. Because it has very low health. So you still tend to be burst down. It gives you very low health and no armor. So it's a dead item against physical damage. So let's say I'm playing this game, Rumble, Lee Sin. I bum rush adaptive and I'm playing Scion, right? Great! Lee Sin comes and he just kills me. I think what they should do for adaptive is buff its HP to 500, nerf its damage reduction to 15, so it's better overall in every situation while worse overall at just making you unkillable against Malzahar and Singed. Abyssal Mask should be changed to melee only. It should have its ranged buff to 550 from 350, and it should have its health buff to 450. I think it should also affect minions so that it can count as kind of like a wave clear item that's better against everyone. ZZ Rot should be buffed to 60 armor, 60 magic resist, and I think that ZZ Rot 
potentially. Should give like cooldown reduction. Gargoyle stone plane is great and all, but there needs to be tank options to split push, especially because there are some situations where tanks just cannot team fight. There are some setups where tanks just can't reasonably team fight. Come on! Did I get it? I, I think I got it. I think I got it on the last fucking split second. I'm just saying that, you know, when you're playing, like, let's say you're trying to play Poppy and they have Vayne, you can't really team fight, you know? Or like, you're trying to play Cho'Gath and they have Vayne, you can't really team fight, you know? If you think Malphite's only CC is his ult, I'd like to introduce you to Malphite's E. Malphite's E. Fucking over bruisers in team fights since 2009. If you hit Malphite's E on Jax, he effectively loses 1.5 seconds of auto attacks. I'll be lenient and I'll say one second of auto attacks. That still means every single E is basically a one second stun on Jax. Vayne, honestly, is such terrible design. Vayne is much like Fiora, an incredibly shittily designed champion who Riot just keeps trying to force because they don't want to admit that she's terrible for the game. I was so fucking close to getting my passive and, and winning that. Oh shit. I was not expecting to kill Vayne there. We should keep trying to buff Vayne because she's so healthy and well designed. Imagine if Riot kept trying to push Jax. Like, they just kept pushing Jax over and over. And, and every time he wasn't top tier, they just like buffed him again. That's what they do to Vayne and that's what kind of pisses me off. It's like, why can't, why can't Vayne just exist as a low rank stomper? Why can't that just be her role?